What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we have got a lot to talk about. Well, I feel like I've got a lot of stuff that I want to say and that I just want to get off my chest, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Today, whenever I came home from work, I had to download the 2.3 or 3.2 or whatever the patch is that we actually have right now in-game, and there are a lot of changes. What I want to do is just go through the visible ones. I'm not going to talk about all of the changes. I just want to go over the visible ones, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about nerfing. First, we're just going to go over the various hunters, because the hunter is pretty much at the center of this patch. As far as the grenades go, the swarm grenade got a buff. It's going to be interesting to see if it's actually usable or not. They were extremely weak before. 7% damage boost. We're going to see if that's actually usable or not. Tripmine grenades got nerfed, and we are definitely going to be talking about those. The Deadeye perk now has a significant damage increase, so for PvE, that's going to be useful. Probably. Especially if you put on the Celestial Nighthawk with all the other boosts. That could be pretty cool. Circle of Life also got a buff, because before it was pretty much useless. Now it might actually have a perk. You combine that with Scavenger, and you should be able to get your Throwing Knife back, while also cooling down your Golden Gun, which could be a really nice thing. I'm probably still going to rock out combustion, but Gunfighter might be nice for cooling down that golden gun even more. Now we should also say that the throwing knife also got a damage decrease, which is again related to the PvP activity, but it does carry over into PvE. I happen to notice in the new notes that were just out that Skip Grenade also got nerfed, so take a look at that because I don't recall seeing that in yesterday's notes at all. Skip Grenades got nerfed. Blink now has a penalty whenever you put it on to your recovery, so Blink has been pretty much terrible since the changes to Blink, at least in my opinion. I really don't enjoy blinking anymore. I find that all the delays in it are just causing a lot of problems. You can't get off your movements or your abilities up in the air like you used to be able to do, and it makes things just pretty frustrating. So I think that people are going to start using Blink even less. Encore got a nice little buff. I think in PvE, Encore might have a significant use, at least in killing people, because you're going to kill an enemy, you're going to get a damage boost, and then be able to kill enemies some more with your Blade Dancing Super. So that could be pretty nice. And they also tweaked so Backstab kind of kills you from the back, and not seemingly from the front. The Night Stalker and the Defender Titan both kind of got a boost to the Spike Grenade because nobody was using it, so now it should tick off more damage in a quicker amount of time, but overall the damage is pretty much the same. What everybody's going to be talking about with the Night Stalker is the fact that Shadow Shot will now suppress you instantly on hit, which is a good thing. They also tweaked the Wombo combo so that you should be able to jump if you get hit by it, so maybe giving you an extra way to get out of the Wombo combo, but Shade Step got nerfed because it's now on a cooldown every time you use it for 3 seconds. Before you used to be able to use it 2 times consecutively, and then it would be on a cooldown. Or at least the cooldown was ticking down between the two, but you basically had 2 charges of Shade Step. And the same thing ends up going for the Twilight Garrison. You only get 1 dodge in the air. So the Blade Dancer, it also received some tweaks to its super, where you can't now jump around with the super and swing in the air because you're going to use more super energy. Whenever you actually hit an enemy with your blade though, you're going to use less super energy than you did before. But with the nerf to the skip grenade, it was a 13% nerf according to Bungie's website. Again, the new release notes, which I did not see anything about skip grenades on yesterday's release, but I might be wrong, I might have just missed it. So 13% damage nerf and the time that those seekers are going out to find you is decreased down to 8 seconds from 12 seconds before. Okay. So we talked about some of the different changes that are going on for the Hunters. There are some changes for the Warlocks and Titans as well, but the Hunters were pretty much the granddaddies for this one. The other big thing is a buff, and the buff is great. The buff is a buff to supers, and for PvE, this is something that's been sorely lacking and sorely needed in the game pretty much from launch. Now what's really weird is that all the supers got a base damage buff, and then they got another buff whenever you're going up against AI targets. So this is really strange to me. They're giving it a base damage buff, which means that it's getting a buff in PvP as well. But why are all the supers getting buffed in PvP? 
they were pretty much one-shotting everybody from the beginning anyway, so I'm not really sure why they buffed them in PvP. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all about them being buffed. It's just really curious that they're giving it a base damage buff, and then they're going out and giving another buff whenever you're going up against PvE enemies. And let me tell you that whenever I've been firing off my golden gun, even against major enemies here on patrol, it's actually absolutely decimating the enemies, and that's a really good thing. Let's say that the super buff is sorely needed in Destiny, it's absolutely amazing, and I think it's going to make you utilize your super a whole lot more, and it might make classes that you don't typically use offensive supers on for the big bosses actually somewhat viable. For instance, like I said, throwing on the Celestial Nighthawk and some of your Golden Gun cooldowns on the Hunter, and then taking that against the boss, you might be able to deal out some really big time damage. But despite the buffs, Despite the buffs, we've got some problems here with Bungie. And, you know, every once in a while we have to just call things out as they are. And what we have to call out is the nerf patrol. And the nerfs that they're doing. The nerfs that just don't make any sense. Now who knows, maybe it's just a case where Bungie is really, really bad about telling us and forming things into words about what's actually going on in the game. But whenever they talk about the tripmine grenade, and they say that the tripmine grenade's pretty much the only grenade that's getting used, and so we're nerfing it, I've got a problem with stuff like that. The tripmine has been used because the tripmine is one, a ton of fun, and two, it's by far the best grenade that the gunslinger has. It's absolutely amazing. It's strong, and it's a ton of fun. Why isn't it being used just because it's a lot of fun? Why isn't the Tripmine Grenade simply balanced as is, and what you need to do is actually go back to the other grenades and buff them or make them more fun so that people might want to use them? That's my thought process. That's how I go about designing things and how I go about thinking about things. It's just a different method. Whenever Bungie's looking at stats, all they look for is most used, so most selected, most equipped weapon, most utilized perk, and if you're using it a lot, Bungie's automatically thinking that it's overpowered. Just because something is used doesn't mean that it's automatically overpowered. It just doesn't. It might mean that it's only the best option available, or it might be the only option to utilize. For instance, right now, all the Blade Dancing Hunter grenades are probably absolutely garbage. I imagine that that skip grenade nerf is going to hurt a lot. 13% is no joke for damage. The Arc Bolt Grenade has been terrible since it's been brought into the Taken King and nerfed. And I guess you could use the Flux Grenade, and it's just going to be like Fusion Grenades again. People are going to stick enemies in the Crucible, and then people are going to complain because they've been getting stuck by grenades. But Bungie's pretty much forcing your hand into stuff like that in PvP. And they also took away the stick of the Tripmine Grenade. But if you'll notice as I've been throwing them out here in this video, what the Tripmine Grenade ends up doing is it ends up hitting the enemy and then just bouncing around in a circle anyway. And it pretty much kills the enemy that you hit with it anyway. So why did they remove the stickiness? Because it really doesn't seem like it's going to make that much of a difference at all. But what's going to hurt the grenade is that damage decrease of 3%. 3% doesn't sound like much at all, but why are they doing it? Because they say that it's pretty much going to one-hit kill the low health guardians. The same reason why they decreased the damage on the throwing knife precision hits. They said that that plus the incendiary grenade was giving it a chance to one-hit KO low health guardians in the crucible. Well, you know what? If you're running around with low armor, there should be a trade-off. You should be weaker to some things that you wouldn't normally be. Why do you have to cater and make everything nerfed just to kind of cater yourself to the small percentage of people that are utilizing these things? The people with the low armor stat are getting better recovery and better agility. If that's not good enough, then you've got a problem with your better recovery and better agility, and you need to go and work from that avenue. I just don't get the idea of taking everything down to the lowest common denominator and then working from there. It's just not the way to keep the fun in your game. It's just not. That's my personal opinion. Again, there are definitely different thought processes to the design. For instance, I have a friend and she's a Twitch streamer and she absolutely despises the Doctrine. She despises the Doctrine and her reason for hating the Doctrine is that she says that it has far too quick time to kill whenever you're hitting only body shots in the Crucible. And she does have a point. It does still have a pretty quick time to kill whenever you're hitting body shots. So, 
What they ended up doing with the Doctrine style of weapon, the Bullet Host style of weapon, is they now nerfed it again. They nerfed its damage by 6%. And remember, it was just a few short months ago that this style of auto rifle was getting a 0.04% buff. Remember the 0.04% buff debacle? A few short months ago, all the weapon data pointed that the Bullet Hose auto rifles deserved a 0.04% buff. Since then, we've received at least an 8% nerf to the weapon type. An 8% nerf. And the reason why is because people are pretty much only using this style of auto rifle in the Crucible. But the reason is not because the weapon is just the most amazing weapon in the entire game. It's because the other auto rifles are really, really bad. The high impact auto rifles are terrible. They have extremely slow time to kills and scout rifles absolutely will dominate them. The Monte Carlo and Hardlight style of auto rifle definitely has some more potential, so why not work on those and make those ones more viable as opposed to nerfing the Doctrine? And if you really want to fix the body shot time to kill on the Doctrine, what about nerfing some of the body shot damage while increasing the critical hit modifier a bit? Sure, you might be able to kill a little bit quicker if you're going toward the head, but it's pretty difficult to hit all headshots with an auto rifle that's firing off that fast, and it could be a little bit of a compromise. I am definitely not all about nerfing just for the sake of nerfing. I'm much more about having fun. I think that makes for a better game. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Titan King, and I'll see you around in Destiny. This video's getting nerfed.